Hello, this is Deborah Williams here in Memphis, Tennessee, your personal cash flow consultant. And today I want to talk to you about the subject of budgeting. In fact, I have 10 budgeting tips. Now, what made me want to talk about it this, this particular time is just this weekend, my daughter asked me to help her set up her budget. It was a nice bonding time, but she's really serious about making a difference in her finances. And this is a great start for anyone who wants to make a difference. So I have some notes here to make sure that I don't miss anything. So please get a pen, get a pad, and take some notes. So I'll give you a few minutes, a few seconds. Anyway, you always have the availability to watch it again. So let's start with number one. When you're setting up your bu budget, you need to be realistic about it. Okay? So if you've never made one before, the first thing you want to do is look at how much income you expect to come in monthly. If you get paid weekly, then you need to set up your budget weekly. Bi-weekly, set it up bi-weekly. Or monthly, set it up monthly first and 15th however you get paid but you need to have each week or each payday listed in your budget then you should also know how much money you can spend you can expect now if it's irregular then go with the average and then go on the low end okay so then also you need to think about how much you're expending more importantly, write down those recurring bills that you know you're always going to have because your rent or mortgage is not going away. Your utilities is not going away. More than likely, if you have a cell phone, it's going in nowhere. Insurance, all of those things, list them, uh, the amount of monthly payment and the date that they are due. Number two, you need to distinguish between your needs and your wants. A lot of times when you're spending money and you're not really paying attention to it, you will tend to let your wants override your needs. So the most important thing to remember is that needs come first and then you get your wants with whatever is left over. Number three, and I've already talked about this, is when you're doing your income, if you don't have a regular income amount, like your paycheck check is the same every month, then go for the low end. So it's better to predict that you're going to have less money than you would nor than you may have than to predict more. So if your lowest check say is five hundred dollars a month, but it can be as high as seven, go with the five hundred dollars. That way you won't over project what you may have when you're setting up your budget. Number three again is your expenses on your expense side go for the high side if your utilities are normally let's say they may run from 200 to 300 dollars then in your budget you want to put in the 300 dollars number four include a miscellaneous category in your budget this is for those odds and ends that you are going to spend money on but they're not necessarily recurring bills when you do your miscellaneous let's say you set it uh, you're only going to set your mis miscellaneous after you set your regular bills, the things that you know you have to pay. Then you look at what you have left and determine how much of that that you're going to count as miscellaneous. So that's for maybe some entertainment. You may go out to eat every now and then. Um, something that you you may buy a piece of clothing or you may put, put some clothing in the cleaners. Whatever it is, that's your miscellaneous category. Another recommendation I have for the miscellaneous category, if you're not good with cash, get a prepaid card in order to keep your miscellaneous spending. Number five, savings. Pay yourself. Include savings as an expense. So make it like one of your creditors so you can make you a creditor for you. Pay yourself. Start at least with 5% if possible. Maybe if you don't even have 5%, but if you can spare $10 because you gave up uh, Starbucks for a week or whatever it is, take that and start a savings. 